These shootings of this magnitude are horrible. It's a tragedy we likely haven't seen the last of. Mm, that's right, and like the rest of us, our Leon Bibb has spent today just digesting all of this very, very disturbing news today. And Leon, you're going to offer us your perspective. Well, I will tell you, it is very, very disturbing, to, but that goes without saying. Let's talk a little bit more about this. You know, I was awakened this morning to the tragic situation in Las Vegas. Once again, we're left reeling in this country as to what to do. Of course, we will mourn the death of the victims and try to help heal those who were wounded, but something more certainly has to take place. Once again, the horrible staccato sound of gunfire fills the air as people run for their lives, but hundreds are not able to escape the bullets which strike their bodies. So many killed, hundreds others wounded or trampled in their attempts to flee. Once again, the television and radio speakers will be filled with the murderous sounds of gunfire recorded during the mass murders. This time it is Las Vegas. The people had gathered for a good time, but a lone gunman, heavily armed, began to shoot from his high perch 32 floors above the concert scene. In recent years, many have been killed or wounded in this country at concerts, airports, movie theaters, churches, schools, community centers, sandlot baseball diamonds, government buildings, and other places. Obviously, the danger zone is everywhere. So what do we do? What will we do? Most assuredly, we will debate the question of gun control again, especially that of assault weapons. It only takes one deranged gunman armed to the teeth who's willing to kill himself, but not before destroying the lives of people who have gathered for an event or who just happen to be at the place he has decided to violate. Once again, we will gather around the television sets as if they were chapels of sorts. We will wring our hands and look for answers as to why. As well, we will look for guarantees of safety, but there is no guarantee of safety anywhere, obviously. The Las Vegas gunman was armed with at least 10 assault rifles and nine other weapons. In his high perch, Las Vegas Strip Hotel room below was the crowd of 22,000 contagores. So question, will we see metal detectors for us as we check in or visit hotels, as we see them in airports and government buildings and other venues? It may well come to that. Does it have to be that we have to have an armed cop on every corner or in every store or business? But certainly we will again deal with the question of automatic weapons, guns of enormous firepower in this country. The victims who were murdered and wounded in Las Vegas were not at the wrong place at the wrong time. They were at what they thought was the right place at the right time. Just as were people killed in churches, movie theaters, airports, and college campuses and schools before them. If the mass murder in Las Vegas does not scare the hell out of you, it ought to. We know what needs to be done in this country. Question is, do we have the courage to do it? Or will we have to witness another the tragedy, perhaps where you are, for lawmakers to find that courage? That's my opinion, my perspective. I'm Leon Bibb.